Hi, brothers and sisters. God bless you. I'm coming on now. I wanted to come on earlier, but I didn't. I just really wanted to wait for the right timing of the Lord. Um, I guess I really need to know that it's the Lord telling me to put something, you know, say something. Although I do sense that each time I receive something from the Lord, or if anyone receives something from the Lord, they should definitely broadcast it immediately. So long as I placed it in my writings, I think that's that's enough until it's time. Um, so I did receive a word from the Lord on earlier this week, maybe I'm going to say five days ago. And it was a dream. And the dream was... Several things happening. There was a bride and a groom, and they were kissing. And I can tell they just were really happy and enjoying one another. There was a little timeline, and it was a little mustard yellow. Seven days written on the timeline. And it was moving. It was moving. Pretty much like my Milky Way dream. The M-I-L-K-Y. And the W-A-Y was moving across. Sort of like a screen. I also saw a man in a business suit. Standing in front of a window. Two window panes. Very large window panes. Like the old shopkeeping businesses and he had a skinny skinny red tie on and he was carrying a briefcase and he had a a grimacing I don't want to say grimacing but a a smile on his face as if At last, a, it was like a baby smile, like a a natural smile. But it was it was it was not like a holy smile. I can tell, but it was a, a natural, like almost he was anticipating. It was just his moment type of smile, and he glanced my way, and I know that I was looking and facing the shopkeeping windows. And he was looking out, and his back was against the shopkeeping windows. Um, I take that as the Antichrist, looking and waiting for him to start his time on earth. And him looking at me, glancing at me, was a sign that showed me he, he knew he was being restrained. But yet he knew his time of was coming. Therefore he glanced at me. Because he knew I would be going away soon. I also had a dream. Where. I don't want to say it was a dream. It was a, you know, words given to me right before I wake up. Usually that is the time when the Lord, I can hear Him so clearly, more than during my waking hours. And He said to me, Be vigilant. Be ready. And stay lost in Jesus. If he didn't say that, it was stay, I want to say stay lost in Jesus, like just stay in him, covered and hidden in Christ. And yesterday morning I woke up with a, a Hebrew word, mazel tov, on my 
spirit. It was at the tip of my tongue. And it, I, I, I woke up and I looked up the word, what Mazel Tov means. And it means an occasion where someone wishes you good luck for an occasion that is coming up. And so I see that as for the past five days, the Lord has been giving me a really, really great encouragement, word of words of encouragement to stay the course, to, as I wake up and have to do the daily duties of the day, to stay the course, to remain encouraged and edify. So Mazotov is a words of encouragement for those who are getting ready for an occasion. That was yesterday morning. So, uh, brothers and sisters, I just want to say Mazel Tov. And I want to say that we shall be raptured soon. Whether it be in one day, two days, or whether it be within a few mo- a month or two. We must stay encouraged, find the strength of the Lord as we're waiting and depending on Him to keep our lamps burning and to stay awake. This is almost a time of separation from the world. And the world is is not going to have us upon the earth anymore. We must do all that we can to win souls for the Lord. But we must also look up continually. Because our time on earth is almost over. We must look for our Lord now and wait for his coming. God bless you.